Hello everyone, this is R.S. Miller at TheEndTimeNews.org and today is March 18th, 2013. This is a breaking news report. Syrian warplanes have bombed the Lebanese border town in eastern Baqa Valley, the first such attack during the country's ongoing crisis according to the Lebanese army source. The warplanes entered a one-kilometer area into Lebanese airspace and struck the town of Kerbet Yunin in the Wadi al Khal region of Arsul, where the majority of Sunni Muslim residents support Syrian rebel fighting to topple President Bashar al-Assad and fired four rockets at a remote section of the border within Lebanon, according to Reuters. Conflicting reports have emerged over whether Lebanese territory was hit in the airstrike. Syrian planes bombarded the border between Lebanon and Syria, but I cannot yet say if they hit Lebanese territory or only Syrian territory. Lebanese news website Naharnit quoted in a military quoted a military official speaking on the condition of anonymity. The mountainous desert region of Arsul is said to be ideal terrain for the smuggling of arms and the flow of fighters across the border. The Syrian warplanes targeted two barns used by armed men, al Manar reported. No injuries were reported. An army patrol has been dispatched to the border region to determine whether the Syrian missile hit Lebanese territory or the two countries' borders shared border, Naharnet said. The airstrike comes less than a week after Syria threatened to attack Lebanese territory if terrorist gangs continue to infiltrate the country. On Thursday, Syria submitted a letter of protest to a Lebanese authority complaining of violations of the neighboring country's territory on the border. Lebanon publicly vowed it would not become involved in the Syrian conflict, however, Officials believe Lebanon remains at risk of being dragged into the two-year-long war which, has, which, according to UN estimates, has killed more than 70,000 people. These things are all just part of the signs of the end times. At some point in the not-too-distant future, the war that's taking place in the Middle East is going to expand and engulf the entire region and quite possibly the world. At least a third of the population on planet Earth are going to be killed as a result. But let me just tell you what the Bible says in Luke 21, chapter 25. And it says, And there will be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and on the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them for fear of the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man, and that's Jesus Christ, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads, because your redemption draws near. And he spoke to them a parable, Look at the fig tree, which the fig tree symbolizes Israel, and all of the trees. When they, are, are, when they are already budding, you see and know for yourselves that summer is near. So you likewise, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things are fulfilled. Are you saved? Time is getting short. We don't have a clue as to exactly how much time we have left. No man knows the day or the hour. But just by looking at the signs and according to scripture, you can discern that we are living in the last days, the last hours, and possibly the last minutes. If you would like to get saved, there's a link in the box below. Just say the prayer of salvation, pray the prayer of salvation with a sincere heart, and you will be saved. God bless you all.